Hey buddy, Dom here, and today I would like to show off this map I've been working on. This is a Team Fortress 2 map. Previously, people might remember from a previous video, uh, I made a video that was called something along the lines of Board Mode Overpower Challenge 2, like walkthrough or something. It showcased a, a map I was working on at the time, and that map will probably never see the light of day. But, this main play space area from that map, I repurposed it. I'm I'm in, I'm actively in the process of making a, a something really cool, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate right now. Like this, this map I'm making right here. This is CP Volcano Hideout, and uh, yeah, let's look at it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a three control point map, much like um, CP uh, Powerhouse. This is the blue side. This is uh, the middle one, and this is this is the red side. Pretty straightforward. Previously, from the from the original map, if you, if you recall that video, this did not exist. This small side area here, and so I added this small side area so spies could decloak and stuff like that. Basically, it's it's never it's not fun. It's not fun, in my opinion, to just always have a, a just you know just always have a big wide open area like this. You gotta have some some small areas like this. Uh, warning, and fire erupts. This is one of two gimmicks that are part that are on this map. When a player stands stands too close to this, these fires that erupt from here, they catch on fire and and, and they take damage. The fire comes out of the the center control point, the side control points, and yeah, the center control point and side control points. Pretty much, you know, there's like the little four things on the side here. And if you look closely, there were four things here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh man, I recorded th this entire thing where I've ex I've explained the map already before, but it got ru ruined, so I'm kind of like. I have to remember everything I mentioned and not forget things because I have to mention them again. It's unfortunate when you lose recording, but what are you going to do? So, what else can I mention? This staircase was only added recently. Um, like I did it like two or three days ago. Mm. The staircase, it's another small side area for, for spies to like decloak and stuff along those lines. It doesn't have any lighting yet because it's really rough and like... A lot of things in this map are really rough. It's, it's really rough and, and just new. In fact, it's so rough that this side doesn't even have it. There's no staircase there. Mm. Um, I forgot to mention, when the fire erupts from here, like the announcer says warning and after four seconds the fire erupts, this event occurs on a timer and I mean, I, think, I can't remember the exact numbers, I think it occurs between 30 seconds and two minutes. So randomly between 30 seconds of it happening or up to two minutes of it happening, it'll happen again. The, the random event where the, the the fire comes up, like it discharges from here, kind of makes sense thematically because we're in a giant volcano, like perhaps, and the, but then like this area here in the very middle of the volcano goes more towards the the, the center. It's kind of like a facility that uses lava energy. There are thermal thermal sort of there are thermal energy sort of situation sort of things that happen in real life, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure they're they're one they're, they exist inside of a, a center of a volcano like this. Like, if I zoom up on the map, you see it's, like, a giant volcano. Uh, here's some small details and things. This thing slowly turns. Turns slowly. And this one, too. And we probably shouldn't be seeing the map from this point of view. You're not supposed to see the map from this point of view, so you kind of see, like, the outside area. It's not, it's not very nice. This is the red spawn. This area is not finished. Because um, I'm in the process of, of enlarging the spawn rooms. Because right now, they're just this area here. This is just me copy and paste it. I just, I just copy and paste the... Um, this resupply ca supply cabinet, it's just sitting here um, temporarily. Similarly on the other side. So here's the spawn rooms. They're, they're going to be ex expanded to be to be backer, to be for, further back. And this side, I had actually put the this this um, door. It doesn't function, though. So ideally, you spawn in like this dark area down here, which won't be dark at the time, but mm, just for, for now. For now, it's, it's, it's really rough. It's really just, I just made it recently. There's no lighting. There's nothing there. Ignore it for now. And so you'll spawn back or whatever team you're on and continue forward, go here. This, can, this, this persisted for a long time. This and on the other side, how it looks. The, um, these like metal sheet, the sheet metal and the, these metal bars and uh, grates, I guess, on the bottom. This is just temporarily here, but I've never removed it. It's, it was here since like this, this map was, was horde, horde mode overpowered challenge 2. From that long, it's, it's always existed. Here's something that I'll go into detail in a moment, but it only exists on this side of the map for, for now. Because I've not yet finished it, so I, I haven't copied and pasted it yet. Mm. Uh, what else to mention? What else? There's a lot of things! 
Previously, this map was simpler. It didn't have this ramp that went up here on both on both sides, and and it, this area in here, in this area here, this um landing, I guess. This this this, this like place you could walk across was more narrow. Now it's been expanded and made easier to walk around, and you could have more fights on it. Supposedly, supposedly. Um. I can't think of anything else to mention. One thing that I like to do, one thing that's that's really fun to do, is use shadows and lighting and stuff to add to add detail to maps. I could demonstrate it. I'm demonstrating here, as I'm showing you this area here with the lighting and stuff. Comes up there. One area of note is this area here. You see these gigantic, beautiful shadows. This area here, is a lot of like interesting shadows and shadow work. There's like lighting coming from the bottom. There's lighting from from top and stuff. It's pretty cool. You have like these small details and stuff. Um, what else to mention? The map is really is really like rough. Like things like these props here. They're, 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 the distances on a lot of props are not set in stone yet. So that that little antenna there, it sort of fades out to, uh, out of existence if you go too far back. This weirdness that you see how it turned black and turned white. Wait, wait, black, transparent, black, transparent. You know, things are not finalized. The staircase down there. It doesn't exist, and now it exists. So, I suppose I, c I should explain it now. now oh, I didn't, I didn't explain this. The giant door. The giant door. This door, at the beginning of a map, it'll trigger whether or not it opens or not. Then, every time the announcer's like, warning and the fire goes up, it'll toggle between being open or closed. The idea behind this, this door is that the flow of gameplay changes every so often. See, now it's closing. The flow of gameplay changes every so often. It's not fun to have, like, oh, you get out of your spawn, and you're being spawn camped from the other team because they're just this close. This is really, really close to the other team's spawn. But if it only happens some of the time, it, it's it, it's acceptable. It's okay if, like, some of the time this door is open, the flow of gameplay changes for this moment in time. It becomes interesting and fun. One thing to note, though, also, is that it also changes the flow for, like, the objectives. Right now, if you're in red team, you've got to protect this point capture this point and go to this side and capture this point final the, f the to get to this point you'll normally have to take either the top path or the pot path all the way around here but if this this giant door is open you can take that path also so you know interesting how things happen um all right i suppose i should explain that the second gimmick of the map it has something to do with this 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 work in progress thing here now thematically it's like What's going on in this map? It's some sort of facility to take away lava, or like to use it as like as power, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. Turns out. Okay, turns out it's not that. It's some it's some kind of secret facility for something really cool. But I have to also explain some the the I have to first explain the mechanic of how this this hatch opens to begin with. So this hatch opens. There you go. Now you know that. The map starts off at like six minutes in. There's six minutes to capture the control point and capture the final control point. And capturing the center control point increases the time. At like 10 minutes or something like that, or at like some arbitrary t point in time, like if, if the map runs long, basically, if it takes a long time for, for it to conclude, this thing will open. And it, it'll it act... This is like a mechanic to like make the map speed up and, and, and uh, be finished quicker. Because you see what happens. When it opens, you jump in. You jump into the hole and you get teleported to an area underground that I haven't made yet. It's on it's underneath the lava. It'll it'll be pretty cool. It'll have like really thick fog and it'll be painful. You stand in that area and you're slowly getting burned to death. But there's gonna be a lot of health packs and stuff. The idea is you go down there, it'll be it's symmetrical on this side too, so you go down there or around here. Then you go in this area here, and here you see that this this middle control point that like you see how like lava's going down? It's actually sucking out lava. Because it, and the reason it sucks out lava is to reveal something underground in this area. And the thing underground is, this is really cool, an underground ancient Egyptian temple sort of thing underneath this this this, this, this volcano inside of the, the, the very center of the, uh, the magma area of the volcano where the lava and everything is. And it'll have like this, this artifact as as this, um, on a pedestal in the main, it's going to be like the main focal point of the entire, of the, the entire area. And if the first player who touches it will be... Granted, like, a really... They'll be, they'll be actually... They'll, they'll be teleported back to the main play space, like, I guess over here or something. You know, because this is symmetrical. It's like a symmetrical area. It'll be basically above where, where the, the, action, the, the, the thing is. 
for, for now, I haven't decided what the, what the object will be, but I'm gonna, let's just say, I don't know, a green glowing magical gibbous. So someone picks up this green glowing magical gibbous, they get teleported here with like a bunch of buffs. They become super powerful, they get like uber for, for a minute and 100% critical hits for two minutes or something like that. With this, with that power, their team now has a, a push. They have a, a power to push towards towards victory. So when a game runs long, you can go into the, the secret area, get to the temple, get the, the magical gibbous, become powerful, and then finally push and capture the final control point and get victory for your team. And so that's the second gimmick on, on the map. I have not make, made the area yet. I, it's just in concept phase. And it's, it's, but it's pretty cool. It's hopefully it'll run out well. You, the viewer, since you're here and you see you you you've seen this explanation of this, when the map eventually comes out, you'll know ahead of schedule. Oh yeah, man. When the map, if this map run, if this this round r runs long, I'm so I'm totally gonna jump into this thing here and get the gibbous before anyone else and become super powerful, go powerful, godly, and 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 capture the the, the final control point. Mm. It's fair in a way that like both teams can possibly go for this this goal and try to try to get it. And other than that, it's not that fair. <laughs> okay, so a couple more things I want to show about this map, but it requires me spawning in and not being a spectator. So, be right back. And we're back. I am the scout. No clip. Check this out. At the very beginning of rounds, and this is why I kind of have to rush to get here, things happen. Things that are really cool and thematic. First thing that happens is these, these blinds open and it reveals the map and you can see the sunlight goes through. Then there are things like these giant windows here. They uh, they slowly go down, you know. That's pretty cool. This gigantic door sort of thing here also goes down. And there's a door here, as you can see, and a door here. It also slowly slides slides across. Here are doors. Ah, oh, I didn't catch them in time. Three. Basically, imagine this, this entire area here and this entire area being a door in a way. And so they also go upwards. And so here, that's just like... um. These are all just for fun, basically. But as a side sort of effect, what they also what they also do is they also allow you to take your time and get out of spawn right away. And then, you know, you'll be up against this area here and be like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready. As soon as the door is open, there's going to be enemies on the other side. They're going to come into that side as well. I'm going to I'm going to fight them and hopefully I win. And oh, but yeah, this actually just set you on fire. See, I'm on fire. That was actually this being set on fire by like taking damage is a difficult it well it's not a difficult thing um what am i gonna try and say it didn't exist for a long time and only recently in in the world of tf2 well, not that recently like a couple years maybe but tf2's been like out for seven years or something weird like that so saying two years or something it's kind of kind of a lot as well i don't know what i'm saying basically you catch on fire in tf2 and that's one thing that these things do and it's a fun little effect you know catching on fire what am i saying uh, yeah, so you get psyched out, you're standing here, right, these doors, these giant doors, this giant door's gonna open, and I'm gonna fight the people on the other side, and then they open, and you fight. Hmm. One thing I'd like to mention, or I'm going to mention, my favorite thing in the entire map here, like, there's a lot of little small details, like, for example, this thing turns, I mentioned this before, but my favorite little detail, my favorite thing, is this little brushwork, this, these, these support beams on this one area here. This one, I'm capping the point. Eh, whatever. This thing here. I don't know why I'm mentioning it, but it's just cool. Um, let's cap this point. I don't, I don't see why not. Time has been added. Okay. The spectator camera is like around here. Now I'm mentioning this for a reason. The reason is when you fall into lava, quickly when you fall, when you hit when you touch the lava, the, the um, when you're taking when you enter in, uh, into this brush that changes your fog. The fog becomes. Uh, I guess I could demonstrate. Uh, Buddha. Now I don't. I won't die from this. So now in this area, everything's orange, so you can't see. So when you die in here, you won't be able to see how it looks because it looks. Let me just get out of it. For, let's just stand outside the map and like underneath the lava. It'll look like this, basically. Wait, wait, wait. Let me look more to the more in the middle. It'll look like this. But since I changed your your fog to become this really thick orange sort of thing, like this, you can't see above. You can't see. Well, you can see the sky. This is this is important because when you actually do die. So, like, let me just get myself killed. What sucks is, you'll be set to the spectator camera, and you see it looks, you, you still have the orange fog. It's just a, a sort of byproduct of me changing fogs. Whoops, I meant to no clip. Sort of a by, byproduct of me changing fogs. Now, this is actually... 
supposed to open in the opposite direction. Uh, I've, I've yet to actually test this, and I kind of expected it to work. Eh, I didn't really expect it to work. It always It's really weird. You have to use trial and error when it comes to freaking uh, the rotating doors. At first, I, I set up to change, to change on the x-axis axis instead of the z. It was wrong, and now I use the y-axis, and then... It went in the wrong direction. This is a very. This is kind of unfortunate. Pretend it worked purpose per perfectly. Pretend it changed the other way, and then you'd see a cool animation. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'll fix that later. I guess well enough map. I think I've mentioned everything now. This area doesn't have light because I've only like recently added it. Yeah, I mentioned that before. This area down here is pretty cool. You just sort of decloak your fire or something. This area here is pretty cool. You could like walk on it. Like there is, there's invisible like walls here. Like. From this point here to like the middle of this point here, so you, you, you won't get like stuck on this. You can easily just walk above it. And there's also invisible walls here from like the window to here, so you can't like stand in this area here. You can't stand, yeah. So basically, things are, in, are, are things exist to um, make the play space easier and funner. Like, I, I've added invisible walls here, so you don't get stuck between these like two pegs or whatever. You can just slide across it. When, when you, so you're like, you're fighting, ah, uh, fighting, and then you, it, rather than getting stuck, you, you just roll across it. Hmm. There's one thing to mention. This is a legacy thing. It's like a thing I'm going to remove. I, it, it, it exists in, in Overpowered Challenge, when that this map originally was Overpowered Challenge. You shoot this, and it becomes destroyed. Yeah. You see the little cracks there, and all the smoke's coming out. Hard to see, but perhaps you can. I don't know. Smoke coming out. Another thing to note is that I've changed it, but I haven't changed it everywhere. Do you see how, like, these are, um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the name escapes me. Lights. These are lights, and they're way nicer looking because they're props, and these are lights, but these are ugly looking. Because originally in the OP Overpowered Challenge thing, the idea was you could break the lights, and you can still break the lights. It looks pretty cool, and it, it it's pretty fun to break lights. You see all the sparks, you see all of the shards of like glass coming down. It's actually a little bit of physics of these glass pieces. They sort of like stay there for a moment, and fade away. But yeah, this is probably going to be changed to be just like the conventional prop lights, that, like the ones over here. Mm. Pretty straightforward. Anything else worth noting? Not that I can think of. Hopefully, when this map eventually comes out, it'll be fun. It'll have a good flow. It'll work out. This is not going to exist in the final product. This is also a legacy sort of thing. Did I mention that already? I can't remember. I've recorded this so many times because I failed for recording it. This side too. It, it, this, these, this, this thing only exists here per, per, uh, unpermanently. Whatever that word is. Uh, partial? No. Unpermanently. It only exists here for now. Because it just existed there and I never removed it. And it does kind of look kind of cool. You know, there's all these things falling down. Clearly, they're not symmetrical, right? This side it has like a bunch of barrels, and this this side has a bunch of sheet metal and regular um, beams of metal. We are in the beam, man. We are in the beam. Like I'm just like gibbering on now. I'm just ranting. Let's just end off this video. I can't remember. I think of anything else to mention. So, yeah. Hopefully, when this map eventually comes out, it'll be fun. You'll play it. There's just no clipping. Nothing. What? Uh, there we go, and stop. Oh, crap, wait. Let me cap the control point. Ten seconds left. I, I don't, you know. Why not end in a victory and see how it looks when you win the map, which just looks how it looks like for every other map. By the way, like, the area to capture is all the way down here to all the way, like, up here. It's not just this area here, so you could be outside of the fire mm, for all the control points. And it is over. Thanks for watching! Like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And last thing I wanted to say was, since you know about the underground Egyptian area thing, you'll be at an advantage because you watched this video when this map eventually comes out. Hopefully, it'll be it'll probably be on the same Steam Workshop. Hopefully, you'll upload it, you know, and it eventually gets into the game. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That'll be the end game. That'll be the the, the fun thing. I'll be I would, I would be overjoyed if this map got into the game. And now it doesn't work at all. Oh what? Oh, oh no, it's working. Weird. I jump into this? No, I cannot. There's this. Oh, oh. This will just kill me, though. I haven't set up anything here. Uh, let's go. Get killed. Oh wait, yeah. Buddha mode is still is still on. Uh, okay, never mind that. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.